Good afternoon, my loves. Welcome to Maverick Baking and welcome to another chocolate review. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly and here we conduct lots and lots of lovely food reviews. We also do kind of foodie vlogs. I'm sharing recipes all the time. We undertake food challenges. So if all things edible is something you're interested in, do consider hitting that subscribe button. But without further small talk, let me introduce to you the subject of today's discussion and taste test, the Milka Caramello. Now, I have no idea if this is actually a new Milka product. Milka isn't a brand I keep my eye on too much. They are popular in the UK, but nowhere near the popularity of bigger brands such as Mars or as Cadbury, for example. I picked up this particular bar from, it was either my local B&M store or home bargain store here in Scotland because they always have some lovely, weird and wonderful imported Milka and Cadbury goodies, as well as lots of other things that you don't always see in other supermarkets markets and I was intrigued. The most kind of recent <laughs> Milka bar review that we did on the channel was not entirely successful to be kind about it but I was intrigued because this is a flavour from this company that I have never tasted and I want to let you guys know whether it is worth your hard-earned money. So let's get into it. From this bar, we can expect classic Milka alpine milk chocolate filled with caramel flavour filling and caramel filling. So one of these fillings is going to be what looks like some kind of creamy, soft, moussey like filling and then there's going to be like an actual caramel in there. I'm interested to see whether this is going to be one that has a lot of kind of that artificial caramel flavouring that you get in say a Twix bar for example or if this is something that will actually be pretty decent from the customer. When we open it up we see something not entirely exciting. We just see a very standard Milka mould and let me tell you my nostrils are ablaze with the scent of artificial caramel and I am not particularly happy about it. <laughs> there is that immediate smoky just fake caramel smell coming from this. The kind that you get from very cheap caramel chocolate bars or caramel desserts and this is a cheap caramel chocolate bar so you know you can't hate too much but there are so many better ways to put caramel into a bar. And let's face it, caramel is made of about three ingredients. Truly, we wouldn't be breaking the bank, would we? So getting into it, we can see a little bit of that kind of caramel mousse, the softer kind of caramel filling we have in there. Let's see if I can give you guys a close up. We have a little bit of the kind of gooey, runny caramel, which looks very pale very yellow, very not like actual caramel. <laughs> it looks very much like a kind of syrup that has obviously been flavoured and coloured. Hopefully that will pick up for you guys there on camera. But let's take a mouthful and see if the Milka Caramello is worth buying. Soft, bland, fake. The Holy Trinity. <laughs> The softness is very pleasant. It's not kind of too hard so that you have to chew through it. It is a kind of nice fluffy mousse-like filling, similar to the Dairy Milk Oreo bar filling, for example, the kind of white stuff that's in there. Does it have a whole lot of flavour? Not really. And there is also absolutely no flavour distinction between the actual caramel and this kind of caramel flavour mousse, which begs the question, why are they both there? Similarly, the chocolate, as you can probably see, is so thin, it's basically pointless. This tastes like cheap fudge or cheap toffee with a better texture, essentially. I think most generic or mass market milk chocolate would be drowned out by the fake caramel flavour anyway, but you, you would never know in a month of Sundays that this was a Milka bar or that this was Milka chocolate on the outside. The taste is completely overshadowed by the caramel fillings. I don't love it. The flavour is incredibly, probably identical, or if not incredibly reminiscent of a Cadbury caramel bar or a Galaxy caramel bar or any kind of supermarket generic brand caramel filled milk chocolate. It's not as satisfying as a Mars, for example, or as a Twix. The change of textures is nice. The softness is nice, but the flavour if you're not one that's into that, that very specific fake caramel taste, 
I don't think this is one that will be particularly memorable for you. It's definitely not the worst thing I've ever tasted from Milka. I have tasted some truly inedible products from Milka, as well as some semi-decent generic milk chocolate products from Milka. But this, I would sort of put into more generic than terrible. I wouldn't be happy to pick it up again, but it will certainly be eaten and it does what it says it's going to do. So I'll give this Milka Caramello a very diplomatic three out of five. Let me know if you've tried this particular Milka bar in your kind of chocolate travels. Some of their stuff, you know, I think they're, they're classic milk chocolate or their milk chocolate that has the little white cows on it is something that they do pretty well but some of milk has filled bars really do need some work but i'm afraid that is all i have time for today guys thank you so so much for watching as always it is hugely appreciated and i can't wait to see you for the next one